everyone. It's Anne with your Angel Oracle card reading for the week starting the 13th of September. I'm using my Time to Shine deck. And this reading is for the zodiac star sign of Capricorn. So Capricorn, your overall energy here is the card, the five of action. And it just reminds you to avoid anybody else's drama, any confrontation. Stay away from it, walk right past it, focus on the light and remain positive. And look at the angel here. She's aware there's a thunderstorm rattling on right beside her and she can see it going on. But it doesn't worry her because she's got her Wellingtons and her umbrella. She's walking right past it towards the sunshine. So if there's any dramas or anybody else's issues going on this week leave it with them just walk past it and you focus on positive things focus on making your move forward towards the sunshine our help or our hurdle you've got the card the one of wisdom and this reminds you it's time to shine your light in the world you have everything you need you are ready you can do it. And our angel here has lifted a really heavy weight there. She's obviously been practicing and training and now she's ready and she can do it easily. So no room for self-doubt, no room for self-criticism. Yes, you can. Yes, you're ready and you can do it. So some self-support this week and a lovely card of self-confidence here for you. Our guidance here, the card, the 20 of wisdom, reminds you that it's time to pause and reflect and realize how well you're doing and how far you've come before climbing to even new heights. And look at the angel here. She's out walking and she's looking at the map of the mountain top and all the different routes up to the top. And she's realized how far she's come and how well she's done. And now she can decide where to go to next. So a lovely card here asking you to pause and reflect and just realize how well you're doing. How can we help ourselves this week? The card, the 19 of wisdom is the card of success. It's absolutely beautiful. It's success, happiness, and it reminds you as well to act on those brilliant new ideas coming in. Look at the angel here. She's jumping for joy. She's got a balloon that says success. So brilliant new ideas. There might be new ways of looking at things, new opportunities for you, new ways of working. Be aware of those because they could quite easily really help you move on this week. Pulling it all together, we have another wisdom card. You've had four in your reading this week. And the 14 of wisdom is again all about brilliant new ideas. And this is the card of balance and compromise. And more importantly, mixing new ideas together to get the results that you seek. Look at the angel here. She's busy baking, she's mixing all those ideas together to get the success that she's after. So new ideas, compromise, balance, talk it through, have those conversations, make those collaborations. And that will be a really good way forward for you. And when you've done all of that, the outcome card, the 10 of action, reminds you to take a rest, have a break, just take some time out to relax. You don't have to do everything yourself. Collaborate. Share those ideas. Share that responsibility. So take some time out. Have a break. Look, she's just having a cup of tea and a biscuit and taking that time out just to relax and rebalance. So just to summarise for you, Avoid anybody else's drama. Just stay out of the way. Remain positive. Keep moving forward. Yes, you can. You've got everything you need. You can do it. 
reflect and realize just how far you've come and appreciate how well you're doing. And then enjoy success, brilliant new ideas coming in. Work with those, share them, mix the ideas together, have those conversations to move you forward and then take a break, have a rest, job well done. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button, make the bell ring, then you'll get notified when I do the next one for you. So take care now and I'll see you soon. Bye.